Hello, Brother Minera here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the British Campaign, where we have, apparently, conquered Zimbabwe. That is, or Southern Rhodesia, as it's called on the map. Uh, that's actually just off of... Um, uh, oh, Norway cancelled their alliance with Germany. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, that's one way of not having to deal with them. Uh, I, it, but uh, Southern Rhodesia was a... Uh, was not German. Uh, however, our fleet here is almost close enough. Uh, Heligand, Cameroon. Yeah, I guess we could attack Cameroon, but no, I want to attack Southwest Africa. I guess it's not close enough yet. Oh yeah, Sea Region, South Atlantic. Okay, so we need to wait for this to move into the South Atlantic region, and then we'll be able to do it. Uh, I was hoping I'll be able to do it this turn. Uh, Germany is still losing a lot, and I mean a lot, of transports. Um, I haven't seen it in a big GDP hit, but their GDP is still ahead of us by a little bit. Um, they've got a lot of money in the bank too. Uh, I hope they're building nine of those <laughs> Markgraf class. Come on, give me, give me something. Uh, we have no new designs coming up anytime soon, apart from the Dreadnought Five, which is on the way. Yeah, that's it. So I guess it's just this convoy battle. Uh, actually, I think I meant to check the Pollux. Yeah, it's now fixed up and ready to be sent somewhere. Uh, yeah, got You can get it. Be you can get to Singapore. Good. Right, what we got Indomitable fixed up and ready to go. Oh wow, that's a little bit one-sided, but. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that does not seem fair. Bouncy bouncies. There you go. Transports. I wonder if we'll even see the torpedo boats. Uh, put your prediction down in the comments. <laughs> Don't cheat. Do you think the torpedo boats will make an appearance? Or will this just be a vicious slaughter of poor unarmed <laughs> civilians? Actually, are they, are they unarmed? Yeah, I think they are. Where are your protected torpedo boats? I reckon they're already back in Germany. Chilling. Having a having a beer. Yeah, and thank goodness we didn't stick around. Because we just would have gotten minced. But still, it's um not not the most honourable thing in the world, is it? Falker with a torpedo seems excessive when she's uh, already sunk. And we're done. <laughs> 
Right, I'll see you in the next turn. Welcome back. Uh, it's kind of gone a bit quiet. Um, the war. Uh, we're, we're sinking German transports by <laughs> by the ha the dozen. Um, just with the the pop up, we're up to sixty thousand victory points, which is pretty spicy. And we've got the dreadnought five and TNT two. Uh, yeah, look, look at this. Just what? <laughs> really? Oh, well, what? They're not connected. <laughs> Hacks. Hacks, I say. Um, okay, that's kind of amusing, actually. <laughs> We're really trying quite hard to hit Southwest Africa. Um, as soon as I launch the naval invasion, which has one month to go, uh, we're also launching land-based attacks as well. So that really should work, you would think. Um, all the other offensive seems seem stalled. There are a couple of German task forces sitting out here in the middle of the sea, but they must just be running away from us constantly. Anyway, we have the Dreadnought 5, so that means it is time... For a new class of Dreadnought. And I believe the next one is the Iron Duke class. Um, pretty sure they're the ones after the uh, KG Fives or the Royal Georges as I've called them. Yep. It's the Iron Duke, alright. So, uh, the Royal Georges still using the. So we're still going to be using the thirteen and a half inch, uh, forty five caliber gun. Oops. Um. Right. Let's. Tr Ooh, this one's a little bit more forgiving with the towers. That looks a bit weird, but good. Works. <laughs> and there. But I'm noticing... Oh, we've got a lot of choice and files. Um, this one, and then... Can I sh like really short funnel? Yeah, not short enough. Uh, plus, actually, now I think about it, I don't want... Any funnel up there. I kind of want this back a bit to try and balance the ship. So we're probably going to have a Q turret. Um, medium, medium four. Yeah, we look, look at this. We've got a lot, lot more room to play with on this hull. Uh, really? There we go. Not bad. Uh, how fast can we make these things go? 22.8. Now, I think the Royal Georges I had going at 22. So, yeah, we'll keep... So, basically, that means the Royal George, the Iron Dukes, the Orions, uh, the Bellerophons, and Dreadnoughts. So, all our Dreadnoughts and Super Dreadnoughts uh, can operate in the same battle line. That's... Really nice. Uh, casements. Hmm. Could potentially go for five inch, couldn't we? Five inch guns. Because uh, I'm not going to get too much in the way of secondaries in, I don't think. So yeah, we'll have a nice clean, clean look for this. Uh, the Royal Georges had six twin five-inch guns. We have ten singles, so a little bit less. I know there are ports up here, but this ship is hard enough to keep balanced. Put on an aft torpedo as well. Uh, standard crew quarters. We can use oil, which is really nice. 
and geared turbines keep them on naturals orcs diesel very nice starting to get some really nice options now Uh, I'm not going to use and chew powder this campaign. Uh, I'm going to do a cordite campaign because I did chew powder last time, and it's more historically accurate to stick to cordite for the UK. Winston's three, though, that's a significant upgrade. Okay, pretty pleased so far. Um, let's go for a 16. Oops. 16, 8, 16 on the turrets, and a 14, 7. And I know I'm not technically using all or nothing, but we can uh, cheat a little with that. Uh, 7, 3, 5, 3, 5, and we are 3% overweight. 5 inch guns do not need that. Oh, they're casements, aren't they? Um, Seven, three point five, one point five, three percent, three percent plus a tiny bit of a forward weight offset. Uh, wow, range is actually really, really, really good. Uh, so we could probably drop that a pip, and now we're very close to uh, very close to being okay. Let's try and move. B and A back. Yep, there we go. Now we have a little bit of an half weight offset. Just by compressing the citadel, we're getting out under. Yeah, not that much, but getting her under the weight, which is fantastic. And yeah, oh, gun lengths. Um, five inch forties and three inch forties. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, that that was surprisingly straightforward. Right. Let's compare them to the real Iron Dukes. Uh, okay, we're a bit bigger. <laughs> five. Twin, 13 and a half inch guns, yes. They have a heavy secondary heavier secondary battery, these 12, six inch, uh, but we're more heavily armored by a fair bit. And in fact, this is the same layout, A, B, Q, X, Y. Lovely. There we go. One Iron Duke class, slightly up armored, but um, yeah, that, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, up armoured and heavier as a result. But uh, we, we have quite a lot of money right now, so I'm not too concerned with keeping keeping costs super low. Uh, so we'll save that design and head back to the fleet management screen. So uh, we're going to build four of these, one, two, three, four, and we're going to build them in Rosyth. So this is going to be HMS Iron Duke, HMS Marlborough. the Benbow. And the Emperor of India. Which I'm pretty sure I haven't used already. Nope, we have the Empress of India and the Emperor of India. There we go, cool. Um, awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna have to move some ships out of Recife then. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of room up in uh, Scarpa. Move them up. Let's 
fine. Uh, right, well, I guess uh, I can hit next turn and see if the naval invasion goes off. Fingers crossed. Touch in word. Let's go. Uh, change colour, come on, change colour. You know you want to. Yeah, I think that worked. Uh, Provinces of our controller, Ottoman Empire. Oh yeah, okay, oil. France and China are at war, okay. More hideous transport losses. Goodness, so many pop-ups. Right, well, with South West Africa tidied up, um, I think we're going to have to go north and help out up here. So we're going to hit Togoland, I think. Um, so let's head back to West Africa, and I'll deal with that. And I'll see you again when there's some action. Welcome back. It's now July 1910, and uh, the Austro-Hungarians are causing problems. My invasion of uh, Togoland, I think, has failed. Yep. We'll just do it again. Yep. Just keep doing it until, uh, until we get some success. Uh, I don't think we've taken anywhere else. Uh, Germans are historically, accurately, being very annoying in uh, Tanganyika. Uh... They're putting a lot of soldiers down here, though. Which means they can't have too much, yeah. Can't have too much on their offensive into France. So, um, not too bad. Uh, in terms of the fleet, uh, the Royal Georges and the t uh, Tigers are all now in service, I think. Yep. So, that's really nice. We've got a lot of force. We can... Uh, we can bring, we just need to actually have some success with it. Speaking of, uh, what do you have, Austria Hungary? Uh, oh, you're nationalists now. No oh dear. Um, two battleships and some small stuff. Well, do you know what? We've got this fleet sitting right here. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go over here and blockade your entire country. Boom. Now, the problem is if Italy joins in against us, um, but uh, Italy at the moment, not a huge issue. China might become an issue. China's getting a bit uppity. They only have a single heavy cruiser, though, so don't really care that much. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll uh, see you again when there's some more things to talk about. Well, actually, the very next turn we have uh, we have a battle, but also, yeah, war with China. Nope, fight to the end. Sure, <laughs> war with China. It's like it's not much we can do about that. Uh, uh, naval invasion again. There are only four months to wait, so yeah, that's, that's fine. And it uh, looks like the. Greek ship, the Scout, uh, which is, I think, a Interceptor class? Yeah, it is. The Tribune and the Partridge, an A class, have found the Krems, the Trabant, and three little transports. Let's go! <laughs> uh. Mm -mm. Nice to see the Greeks again. Actually, we should split them up. Because the uh, scout is much, much, much faster. Hungarians are already suffering with a lot of uh, enemies. Giving... Whoa! What the hell? A six-inch hit. Main belt fed five thousand damage. 
God damn! And then you immediately target lock, but damn! <laughs> what a shot on like 0% <laughs> chance to hit. Amazing. Right. Go Grease. <laughs> have hit the transport or something. It's the Trebent. Main guns on the Trapant and secondary guns on the transport, please. Tribune, of course, much slower. Still working her way up. Oh! Got the number on the... Oh, it's all, oh wow, look at that torpedo spread. Trapant will be aware and probably is going to fit in this gap, but... Oh, also half the torpedo is going to explode, but still. Nice effort. Sava sunk as well. The three six inch guns on the back. <laughs> Whoa! Overkill! Uh, it's actually pretty. Uh, pretty good. Doing an, uh, this kind of drive by attack. Don't waste your torpedoes, please. Till I'm um, uh, surely going to sink now. Yep. Right. Scout. Uh, see if you can engage the Krems. And Tribune, you can see what you can do about the Trabant. Fired a couple of torpedoes at it. I'm sure it will see. Uh, it's fine at me. No, 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 no. Go. All ahead, flare. <laughs> Get your ass out of the way. Woo! Dud. <laughs> no, 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 no. Focus on the cramps. Just, uh,. See what you can do with it. Any flooding hits or anything would be great. Archer's just going to have to get closer if she wants to uh, get any damage in. coming out presumably at the scout. Yep. Oh, it might have actually been at the partridge, but... Yep. Right, want to shoot your torpedo? Hey! That's 
Great! Wow, well done, uh, Greece. Can you come train my crews on how to do that? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Beautiful job. Right, now it's down to uh, Tribune and Scout. Ooh, Scout took a bit of a hit there. Tribune and Scout to try and uh, finish off the Trabant, who does have a little bit of flooding. tends to be able to fire its torpedoes first. Yep. Oh shoot, the rudder's damaged. Oh, they sunk anyway. Come on. Duds. <laughs> Fantastic job by the Greek Navy there. Uh, praise all round, really. Really good. I know the Parkshire says only did 3.2, but that was all torpedo hits against the Krems. Um, really, really good work. Right, uh, going to end the turn see what happens next. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I have successfully invaded Togoland, which is just fantastic. Um, so, with that... Uh, the fleet is going to move on to Cameroon um, and just continue to tidy up the uh, <laughs> German colonial possessions as best we can. Um, I mean, Cameroon is also already being attacked, so hopefully we should be able to get it through. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep the war going, basically. Now, it is November of 1910 and I did say I was going to do a regular round of refits so uh, everything that isn't already under construction so the only things under construction at the moment the Iron Dukes uh, is due for a refit now this is going to be a minor refit in every single case so I'm not going to get you to sit through me doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different refits. However, uh, I, I, I'll I do the Indefatigable first, because this is the one that actually needs some changes to design. All the others I'm just going to go through and make sure their components are up to date. Uh, there's not going to be any significant changes to them, but the Indefatigables need their deck protection fixed so uh <laughs> this one is worth showing off so into the battle mode uh, the other thing i might do i might try and get the 12 inch ships up to 12 inch 40 uh 45 so we now have trip three um which will help a lot uh, also help a lot is putting them on oil and we can get them geared to turbines which Gives us a huge amount of weight spare. Uh, we can also give them an aux diesel, improved propeller shaft. Um, could potentially give them improved anti torpedo, it's pretty nice. Watertight doors, <laughs> even better. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, TNT 2 and Cordite 2. I haven't unlocked anything else fun here. Winston's three range fighters. We can give them a hydrophone and an advanced radio. Uh, so a nice upgrade in components. And this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for all the other ships. Just giving them all those upgrades. But these guys, these guys need that six inch main deck back. Um, and their inner layering is a little bit weedy as well. I'd like to go six three three if I can. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. And can we push... No. I was, I was wondering if we could push the turret armor as well. But uh, not just now. However, that is a solid improvement. Uh, it should solve their biggest issue, which was... Yeah, as we saw in the fight, they got in with the Markgraf. They took a main belt, uh, main deck hit at long range, which, you know, <laughs> it's not really a thing that ships had to worry about too much in this era, but they do in the game. So, yeah, six-inch main deck should keep us a little bit more, a little bit more safe. So I won't show you all the other refits and all the process of that because it's all watching me do the same thing over and over, but... Um, I will say thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.